Finding the intervals of concavity are the second derivative, not the first. There are multiple strategies to solving curve sketching problems that are found on page 57 of your textbook. Hmm, the bell isn't to ring for another five minutes, but if you're finished with the questions I assigned yesterday, feel free to take an early leave. Awesome. You did your homework, right? I'm not staying here a moment longer than I have to. <sighs> of course you're ahead. That's our class president for you. Let's get going then. Hey guys. The team and I wanted to propose an extra practice for the big game coming up. And as both of you are co-captains, we thought we'd ask for the go-ahead before we ask Coach. Yeah, you know Coach. He can get a tad bit grumpy when he has to ask admin for extra gym time. But we figured if you guys back us up, it would be a piece of cake to convince him. Hmm. I mean, I don't see why not. They almost beat us last year. We'll need all the help we can get. What do you think? Awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll let the group chat know so we can discuss possible dates when everyone is free. Oh, but are you guys busy right now? What's up? Haruto and I were going to head to a gaming cafe right now. The one super close on 7th Street. Oh, you're right. Sorry, we plan to get some dessert with Kanade. Maybe next time? <laughs> I should have known. You guys are pretty much inseparable. Well, see you guys later then. Bye. Later. <laughs> She's telling us to hurry up. There you guys are. Thought my legs were gonna fall off waiting for you guys. <laughs> Why didn't you just come inside? You know going to the all boys classroom by myself is embarrassing? He's right. At this point, all the guys wouldn't even question you coming in to get us. There's no point in being shy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We should get going if we want to get home before sunset. Oh, are you both ready for the upcoming basketball game? These are the semi-finals, right? Yep. Class president here has been endlessly practicing between student council and studying for exams. I seriously don't know how you do it. I can barely do my homework after coming home from practice. I just instantly pass out. I yeah, maybe I didn't do the homework teacher mentioned earlier. But hey, it's not like she was checking anyway. Le'Veon, you're going to die in uni if you keep up these habits, seriously. Come on. Have a bit of faith in me, will ya? I'm sure university me will be a lot better than the me right now. That's a lot of faith you have in yourself. You know uni is next year, right? Oh, I was thinking of picking up some ice cream and hanging out at the park. Sure, sounds like a plan. Great, that works then. Oh, about basketball. You two need to control your super crazy fans. Last game, I could barely see anything because one of them kept jumping up and down constantly in front of me. Aren't those crazy fans your classmates? Sure they are, but the only ones they would listen to are you guys. Trust me, I've tried, but it's a bit hard to converse with them over deafening screams. He's right. What do you want us to say? Please stop screaming while I'm scoring a point. Please don't cheer when I make the game winning shot. Okay, okay, I get it. I just didn't know who else to ask. I mean, showing up with obnoxiously large posters with both of your names on them, screaming like their lives depend on it? Someone sounds jealous. <laughs> you wish. Oh, 
Oh, you remembered? Yeah, my presentation for the astronomy club went super well. I convinced a bunch of new people to join. Isn't that great? You really think so? <laughs> Thanks. I mean, if more members will be able to get us more funding, maybe I'll be able to get the club that new telescope I was telling you about. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. <coughs> Oh, you and Kanade don't have partners for the history project yet, right? Normally, they would want classes to stay separate. But seeing you both have Mrs. Sato for history, and both of your classes have an odd number of students, I went ahead and asked her if both of you could be partners. And she said yes. That I did. I mean... You both were coincidentally not here when the project got assigned. So I unfortunately got snatched up by another classmate. But you both are super smart and best friends. So I took the liberty of asking for you. Oh, but I don't want to force you to partner up with me if you don't want to. See, he wants to. Y you sure? Because I would love to do the project with you. I just didn't want to force you was all. Really? Okay then. That's the ice cream stand ahead, isn't it? Yep. Wow, they have so many flavors. Hmm, what to choose? Mango sounds super good. Okay then, three mango flavored ice creams. Whoa, it's totally fine. You've paid for our food far too many times. Yeah, really, it's okay. Fine, fine. But the next one is on me, okay? Seriously. He's always buying us food, gosh. I mean, it's not like we didn't try to talk him out of it. I guess, but seriously, what were you thinking asking for us? You're the one who- I'm like that, though. <sighs> Just remember what I asked you to do before, okay? Jeez, okay. Three mangoes? Sure. Cone or cup? Here you go. Thanks, man. Looks delicious. Yep, the park is just across the street. Let's go. <sighs> it's been a minute, Levion. Not even, actually. Seriously, how's the ice cream already pretty much gone? Hey, an athlete has to fuel their body, you know? With ice cream. <sighs> You're right. This park is super pretty. We should totally come here more often. Sure, we can sit here. Yay, I've been craving ice cream this entire week. Oh, shoot. You guys have any napkins? Thanks. Classic Kanade and her clumsiness. Hey! <laughs> Am I wrong? Anyways... <clears throat> we should come back here sometime. Didn't you already say- Oh... Right. I've gotta bounce. Totally forgot Mom wanted me back early for... Uh... A, a family thing.
Yeah, man, it's fine. I'll catch up with you both tomorrow then. See you. Um, how's the ice cream? Oh, you have eaten it all, Ella. Um, it really is the perfect weather, isn't it? Not too warm, not too cold? Hmm? I don't have to be partners with you for the project if I don't want to? Wait, you think I don't want to be your partner? I seemed... hesitant? No, I... Seriously, do I have to spell it out for you? Le'Veon is the one who proposed this hangout a couple days ago, right? He never does that, and you know him. He would still never do that unless someone asked him to. And earlier, Le'Veon would never go out of his way to ask a teacher if his friends could do a project together. And Le'Veon's mom has never asked him in the history of high school to come home early. Can't you see? I asked him to do all those things. Asked him to propose this hangout because I was too shy. Asked Mrs. Sato if we could do the project together when I heard we both weren't at school the day the project was assigned. I'm the one who asked if he would go early so that I... So that I... Could tell you that I've liked you. Ever since we first met on the first day of high school. Ever since you asked me for a pencil in the 10th grade. Ever since you helped me study for my first algebra test. Ever since you caught that basketball in gym class before it hit my head. I've liked you. I still like you. A lot. <laughs> no way. It wasn't obvious? Le'Veon is a really amazing friend, but that's all. You know I get super nervous when it comes to things I care about because... I really don't want to screw anything up. So, I'm sorry for hiding my feelings or misleading you if I have. I... I just really don't want to mess this up. Because I care about it. About you. So, so much. Yeah, I needed time to tell Le'Veon about it. I mean, we're always going to be friends, that will never change, but I didn't want to be unfair to him because we've all been friends for so long. I didn't want him to find out about it after. But get this, when I told him I was planning to confess to you, he just looked at me with his usual nonchalant look on his face, as always, and said, it took you long enough. You did have it all wrong. The person I like is you. I mean, you're incredibly smart, caring, considerate, and kind. I've seen you encouraging your teammates during a game, helping out someone's workload in student council when they were too busy to do it themselves. I mean, how could someone not like you? I... I don't need an answer right now. I would never want to pressure you or anything like that. But, if you ever feel like you're ready to tell me how you feel, I'll be waiting. <laughs> yeah, sure. Your place for the project sounds great. Saturday? Perfect. Yeah. I think I have time in my schedule for that.